So we're going to show you step by step the procedure that we took to set this backbone up, stem all the way back to the transom, how to get it right. Right. So this, these four and a half perpendiculars, they're going to be just exactly as they were on the lofting board. Right. No more, no less. That's what you built, built your boat to. So we're going to set, set them up so they're at the, at the proper spacing. Yep. We have our keel. When we bring our keel over, has the center line on the keel, check and make sure that it is really there. Yep. And it's true. Then we have a center line on our strong back, so that's true. We can, the easiest thing to do, clamp up your stem, right, like it is right here. Yep. That's gonna hold, that does a lot of work for you. That's gonna hold that plumb. And transfer that center line Goes up, your, up your vertical brace. Center line, center line, center, center line, line, all the time. Okay, that center line travels all along the keel, all the way along, come back, comes right up onto our, our, uh, our transom. Okay. On our transom, that we want to be able to make sure that it is truly, truly square. You don't want to end up in the boat and then you find out that it, oh, well, why, does, why is one side a little bit longer than the other? You want that to be exactly correct. So we have set this, we have braced this option, uh, this guy right up here. Uh, well, and the, these braces again are parallel. We bring our transom right up to that. Line up the center line on the center line. You put a level on top. And that was level right there. And Greg, oh. this might be a good time when people are fastening that transom, you know, in the first place. Leave that top end square. Another option, and maybe for a number of you, the one that makes a little more sense. Yeah. I the construction from, jig building upside down. Yes, for, uh, from nowadays, uh, it makes a lot of sense for a lot of boats, especially because at, at one time you were kind of constrained with plank on frame boats, for example. They, you know, things were a little bit floppy, but now they're building boats that are um, 90 feet that are upside down because yep. it's just easier to do everything. Right. Uh, you know, mostly planking. Yep. Yeah, pretty much mostly planking. Yeah. So, a ladder jig. We're going to talk about that first, and then uh, going to go ahead and just show you the various steps. Yeah, talk uh, you through it, really. It's really. very, it's very straightforward because right. it's, it's basic house construction. Right. Right. right.